What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. Happy 25th anniversary to the Nintendo 64. In honor of this great console, I'm taking a look at another racing game of which there's a plethora of them for, for the system. In this week's review, I'm going to talk about Hot Wheels R Turbo Racing. Developed by Stormfront Studios and published by Electronic Arts. With a North American release date of August 31st, 1999. This game was also ported at the same time to the PlayStation 1. Hot Wheels Turbo Racing is an arcade style racer with a total of 11 tracks and 40 total cars that you can play and unlock. Now, let me just say right off the bat, some of the lengths of these tracks, holy dear lord, I mean six laps and to try to get through them takes like eight minutes? Oh man, wow. But one cool feature is that the further you progress and the more secret areas that you find in this game, and trust me, there's plenty of them that are quite difficult to find, the more cars you'll get to unlock. The majority of the cars are all based around the Hot Wheels toy company made by Mattel. But there is one exception, which is a NASCAR car from the 1999 NASCAR series. Now, in this game, there are no weapons per se, but you can acquire power-ups. What these power-ups do is enhance your car. For example, one such power-up you can get increases your grip and handling, while another maxes out your durability for a brief time. Kind of like Mario Star, in which it allows you to bash in other cars to try to wreck them. This takes me to the three main strategies that you have to try to complete any race when you're playing this game. The first is to try to wreck every single one of your opponents, because in this game you could take damage and durability and also wreck or try to wreck your opponents. The second is you could just try to outrace them by just playing better and being more precise in your turns. And the third is you can out trick them. What I mean by this is whenever you go off a ramp, such as when you see in some of this gameplay here, you can perform a trick by moving the analog stick. The more better tricks and the bigger tricks that you perform, the more turbo you earn. Turbo is a short burst of speed that you can use at any time. So perform big tricks, properly use your turbo, time it right, you can leave all your opponents in the dust. This, however, takes me to the first really major negative that I have with this game. is too often when you're playing, you'll be trying to do a trick in midair, an enemy AI will come up out of nowhere, bump into you, and when you land, somehow you'll manage to land backwards or facing the wrong way, while they land perfectly fine and just race right past you. It can get a bit frustrating for all the wrong reasons. I can't count the number of times that I was like, oh my god, I'm going to land this amazing trick and I'm going to get a whole bunch of, you know, turbo added to my meter and then right at the last moment, get another car bumps into me, suddenly I'm facing backwards and I failed the trick. It can be a little bit frustrating. Now, next, I want to touch briefly on the overall music and the sound effects of this game. The sound effects just feel a bit lackluster compared to other racing games. I don't know, they just they lack any real impact or oomph. So, yeah, it's kind of a mixed bag. Now, the music uh, on the other hand, well, that's a totally different story. Because you have some music tracks which are just absolutely fantastic, and others that just make you want to immediately hit the mute button. So, it's hard to say. I would say that the music in this game is great, but I wouldn't say that it's terrible either. It's just a real mixed bag. The best area of the game has to be by far the controls. It takes a little bit to get used to performing tricks and the handling of some of the cars, but once you do, you'll be going airborne every single chance you get to try to see how much of a big and awesome trick you can perform and trying to find all the little secret areas so you can unlock more cars and play and leave your opponents in the dust. But the burning question now in everyone's mind is Hot Wheels Turbo Racing worth picking up today? Well, if you've burned out your copies of Mario Kart 64 or Diddy Kong Racing and you're looking for something else to play, then sure, go ahead and pick this game up. 
Last I checked, it was still sitting at just under $15 according to price charting. So, not a bad budget option either. If, you know, you don't really have the money to fork over for those games, but you're just looking for a fun racing game to play in the Nintendo 64. So, thanks for watching everybody, and until next time.